Good morning, everybody. This is day one of Gen Con. So you've seen our blog of our pre-footage of Gen Con. And now we're getting ready to go into Gen Con as a whole. Um, I am up here, it is 6.30 in the morning. I am always excited, I'm ready to go and no one's down here. So I'm just waiting till 7.30 before everyone else comes down. We'll eat breakfast and head over. But uh, I'm ready to go. I really love meeting people at Gen Con. I have a great time each time. And uh, there's fire here in August. How excited is everyone for breakfast time? Yeah. Back in the day. No, no, the gremlins. Okay, folks, we're walking down the main hallway towards this. Look how many people are here and it is 8.14 in the morning. These people can't even get in until 10. Well, we can get in because we're going to our booth. That, <laughs> that, that did sound pretentious. That was not a flex, I just meant. Okay, folks, we're walking down the main hallway. That was not a flex, I just meant. Tom is blogging about walking down the main hallway. He's very excited about walking down the main hallway. I am excited about walking down the main hallway. This is us walking down the main hallway. Remember when we used to have a booth over here? That was a lot of fun. Walking through the hall before everything opens, people are getting ready and excited for Gen Con. We have lots of things all around, stacks and stacks of games. Um, but yeah, this is the calm before the storm for sure. Ooh, Artist Alley. I always love checking out all the cool artists here at Gen Con. All right, we've made it. This looks completely different. Carpet. Brian, give us your thoughts on the carpet. Well, what are your I, thoughts on the carpet? I, I like the sponginess under my feet. Okay. But uh, the it's mixture dense. of colors is a little strange. I mean, it hits. It looks like it was laid like by professionals, uh -huh. like like shoemakers. You know, like they appeared last night and made it. Right. What are your thoughts on the viscosity of the carpet? It's, it's a 7.2%. I'm used to a 6.8. One of the things I always love at Gen Con too is how they have awesome kids games and stuff. We have Haba and Blue Orange, but it's always awesome to uh, see the kids games over here in like the little family friendly alley. Um, I always try to bring back a kids game for my kids. So I might have to check out and see what looks good um, to play with the families. Got a booth that I'm very excited about, Link Games. Number of games here that I'm interested in. So here we are, walking around the hall. Look, Ark Nova, look at all the Dice Tower Awards. That's pretty cool. Lots of people are setting up. Wooshka here. I'm, uh, ducks in tow. Lots of cool games. So although most of the stuff at Gen Con is for consumers, there are some places that are really cool for designers, or maybe just if you're just missing a few components from one of your games. I really enjoy uh, buying a few little bits and bobs for uh, prototypes every year at the uh, Game Crafter booth here. They have all sorts of different crazy stuff, like even dinosaurs, but like lots of different shaped meeples and houses and crystals and gems and stuff like that. But as a designer, it just helps spark the imagination of like, hey, I can, I can use this for this, or maybe this for this, or maybe I've been using this component. This would look a little bit better in my prototype. I don't know. I like to bling those things out. All right, still before the con opens, we're at the Weird Games booth. This booth is gonna get a lot of attention, I think, for a number of reasons, but not the least of which for Vagrant Song. This uh, is gonna be a buzzing booth here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. It's a little tree. <laughs> this is the next tea game? This is the next tea game here. Ooh, I'm excited about the next tea game. Pile of tum. Pile of tums. To let them? Pile of tum. Corey, hey. we found a Corey in all of this mass. How did it happen? I have oh, no, no idea. I'm lost and it's horrible. Good morning, Kenny. Hey, good morning. We're Two, ready, right? Five. Yes. Woo. When this software I want to vlog, finishes. but I have to delete more things from my phone before I can continue to vlog. Get good, Roy. Storage, get, storage space. Get good. Masses, ready to flood and check out all the new hot games. Okay, folks, they just opened the hall. No one's here yet, but they're coming in. They're gonna be running. They're probably running toward that Marvel zombie booth. So we'll see what happens. Here they come, I, I guess. I don't know, I don't see them, but they're probably coming. I've seen a lot of people walking around with Brazil Imperial. And the cool thing about this game is, on my turn, we're part. 
And then on her turn, you guys are partners. Oh. And then on your turn, we are partners. Switching and loyalties. Our, and our, yeah, and our victory points will be kept between us. Nice. And they go perfectly down. They're in 62 I think this booth is proof positive that Catan's time is not past. Catan still has a very large presence. Catapult well, here we have the amazing Dice Tower. Dice Tower. Check out the height of this thing. Up through the cracks and crevices lives one iota of joy rolling these fancy dice down into here that Tom brought back. Nobody even knows what these dice are. They got swords on them. Swords, I think it is. And if you roll them, look at this. Watch this. Here's a live action shot. If you get three of a kind, you win. We lost just now in this roll. I found him. I found him! <laughs> All right, about to play some of the War of the Ring, the card game here with Corey of Dice Hour News and Stephen Bonacore, who stole, who stole his name from the Rod Father of Gaming, which is really strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. we're gonna check this thing out and see how it goes. Founder. Speaking of hot games at the convention, I think it's fair to say that the Bezier booth is doing very well with Cat in the Box. World of Game Design. I'm Jared Nielsen, and I am the Master Crafter at Gen Con. We're gonna fill that Part B resin up, which is a small chain molecule, and then we're gonna give it some Righteous Catalyst and this eventually makes me a somatic mage. And we mix the components. And now that I've mixed the components, the clock is ticking. The exothermic reaction is now activating. It's heating up, and oh, I have I only minutes. Can he do it in that. time, folks? I don't know. The secret to watching it bloom, which is where it cures into a long chain molecule, is if you stop looking, it cures. So don't look away. It's heating up right now. It's got an exothermic reaction. It's getting hot. And the thicker pieces of it are gonna suddenly just engage. There you go. So now it's blooming, and all those short chain molecules have now heated up to a temperature that they like. And it's gonna turn out something like this. Zoom in. Fantastic. This is oh, so tentacly. <laughs> Love it. At the Pandasaurus booth again, talking about games that are gonna be hot for the convention. You can see that there are a number of games here. Someone's gonna be excited. <gasps> Here's a prototype of what Meadow Downstream is going to look like. It attaches the board right here to your normal board, and you can kayak down the river as you grab cards that have different values, read values in the bottom corners. You can move your kayak along, get bonuses along the way, unlock new actions, see the sunset. And here's the new display of the water-based cards. Look how good those look! I love it! You've got a number of publishers and other businesses that have rooms kind of off the hall. And so they do demos and things along those lines. I just showed you Pandasaurus inside of the demo booth, and I also showed you Funko inside of the uh, exhibitor hall, but they also have their own kind of rooms in here. Here you can see inside the demo area for Pandasaurus. So yeah, again, this is just in addition to the area that they have inside the main exhibitor hall. It feels a little closer to Gen Cons that I've been to in the past. of the City of Games, which is really known right now, probably mostly for the Isle of Cats. <laughs> the one that down by the river. <laughs> Andromeda's Edge, which is essentially the follow-up to Dwellings of Eldervale, my number one game of all time. This is the but prototype, right here. of course. This is not the actual game. <laughs> but, hey. uh, Hello, I don't want to interrupt, but I figured I want to take a little bit. Yeah. Hope you guys don't, you don't mind. I'm... Okay, so we're talking about building your engine right here. Yeah, yeah. So what happens now is I... And that's it for day one. We're all tired. We're going to eat. It's going to be fun. A lot of cool stuff here, folks. There's cool games. And did we say HeroScape? HeroScape! Anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Bass on the gang here at the Dice Tower. Gen Con day one!